Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and today I'm going to be doing another book haul. <laughs> A couple months since my last book haul I've actually purchased a lot more books which is not very good but last month and this month I've cut down my spending um well like last month I've cut cut back my spending so I'm not purchasing as many books so I don't know where my next book haul will be after this but I think it might be February because there's hopefully the Lifeline book fair will be on in January so fingers crossed for that but hopefully I won't do another book haul until then. So the first books I want to mention are just some books that I have coming in the mail. Um, there will be two videos that I will be making based on some of the books I'm getting in the mail. So the first one will be the um, Addie, Addie LaRue box uh, it, that's coming from Owl, Owl Crate. Yep. Uh, they've created a um, limited edition box based on the book, so I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to be uh, unboxing that one for you guys, as well as the Holopox book, even though I've already read the Holopox book, I'm going to get the Owlcrate edition one, so I'm looking forward to that, as well as all the contents in that one, so I'll do a video of me unboxing that one whenever they come. I'm not sure yet, I've got both shipping confirmations, so hopefully they'll come soon. And I've also got four other books coming in the mail. I have Get a Life Chloe Brown, which everyone keeps raving about and I'm looking forward to reading. Uh, I've got The Five, which is a non-fiction um, non story about the five women or victims of um, Jack the Ripper. And I feel like that would be a really interesting story to read because you always hear about Jack the Ripper, but you don't really hear about the victims and what they were doing. And you just assume that they all they did was, um, like, you know, back in those days, be a prostitute and that was all they could ever be. But apparently that's not true. So I'm actually looking forward to reading that one. I've got the first book in the Worst Witch series, which I'm looking forward to reading because I loved the show when I was growing up and I'm re-watching it on Netflix and I'm kind of loving the vibe. So I really want to read the books. So I bought the first book in that series. I know I haven't figured out how to find a box set, so I just thought, oh, I'll just buy the books individually as I find them. And the last book, is uh, it's a book called So Much to Tell You and that one's by John Marston and it was a book that I read growing up and um, my English teacher gave it to me and it was a book that really stuck with me and I knew it was a book that I needed to add to my collection. I really wanted to find it second hand but I couldn't find, I haven't been able to find any copies of it yet and it's a bit I feel like it's a rare book for some weird reason so I'm not being able to really find it, even like there's a sequel to it. I've read it, I've read the sequel to it, but I've never actually, but on like Book Depository, it doesn't really exist on there. So it's a bit of a hard book to find apparently. So, oh uh, well, so um, I've got two of those shipping confirmations and just waiting on the final one. So I'm looking forward to getting those ones in the mail soon. So a couple of weeks ago, um, me and my partner, we went op shopping and I ended up finding two books and it cost me $7 in total for the two books and I'm happy with that and one of the books is actually a book I've been looking, wanting to buy for a while and I wanted to get it second hand because full price would have been too expensive for the book it was and uh, I'll just get the books. So the first book was Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. I've been wanting to read this one. I've only read half of the of read, watched half of the movie. So and I kind of got bored. So I'm hoping the book is a lot better than what I dealt with with the movie. But we'll see. And like obviously it's a um, trilogy as well. So hopefully it, it's gonna be good. Who who can't help to love rich people drama? Like come on. Yeah, this one was five dollars. So and it's in pretty good nick. So. Yeah, I'm really happy with my choice of book. And the next book I bought was Hitler's Daughter by uh, Jackie French. So I've already read this one for Believable It is middle grade. Yeah, Jackie French is a um, Australian middle grade author. She does a lot of stories that focus on historical figures and fictionalizes the stories to make it more understandable for younger children. 
So that is what this is. It's literally 130 pages and I looked on Book Depository and if I wanted to buy it brand new, it was $17 for this tiny little book. And I got it at a secondhand store for $2, so pretty good saving I reckon. And I and I yeah, read it at the beginning of the month and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And yeah, I'm looking forward to keeping this one in my collection. The next book I got, um, that these are all random, I can't even remember when I bought them because half of them were just like whenever I wanted to really. So, um, so the next book I bought was um, Chris Colfer's um, A Tale of Magic. So I know this follows the series that he did The Land of Magic and I'm wanting to buy those ones, um, get those ones at some point. I'm pretty sure I can read this without reading the land of story, so I'm hoping to read it for Believerthon. But we'll see. It is also quite chunky. Ooh, okay. So the next I bought um, is the land of raw and the return of raw. So I bought. Well, I think they had a sale on, and that's why I decided to get both books because I think they had like a middle grade sale. So I was like, you know what, I might as well just get both books, even though I've been trying to tell myself, I only get the first book, and if you want to read the second one, buy the second. But then at the same time, I compl I'm a completionist, so I've got to complete sets if they're going to be the same book. So, um, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to reading these. I'm reading them for Believe a Fun. And I think they're my next prompt for um, for the thousand dollar uh, thousand dollars readathon. I kind of cheated a little bit, and just wanted to look at what the next prompt would have been for me because I had a rough idea what the answer would have been from the um, from the book I was reading. Because I was like, "Oh, did you enjoy the main character?" And I have enjoyed the main character in Skull Doggery at the moment. So I was like, "Yes, of course I did." So yeah, so I picked that option and the next option was up so they're going up in the dragon so <laughs> that 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 was my um thing for that last week's video was obviously based on this book and obviously it's part of the haul because i did haul it within from the last haul so here it is the secret history by donna tart i didn't like the book and i dnf'd it and I want to read it again at some point or see if I like it again, like actually dedicating time to reading it because I think that's how it's meant to be read, not read it as fast as you can. You need to take your time with it and I think that's not what I did so yeah so I didn't like it and I don't want to read it again but I know that I probably will, we'll see how I go. Yeah, I've talked too much about this book already and <laughs> it's... Yeah, and I loved it, and I'm also getting the box, and I've already said that in this video, so that's this book already hooked. Um, this next book is uh, Cersei by Madeline Miller. So everyone on booktube really raves about Madeline Miller, especially the her book, The Song, the Song of Achilles, I think it's called. Um, anyways, everyone keeps raving on about it, so I thought, and I saw the book, and I was like, might as well try and... Uh, or at least buy one of them because people rave about both but they rave more about Song of Achilles and I saw this one and even then the cover is so pretty in gold and I couldn't resist so that was why I bought it and I don't know what it's about. I think it's about um, ancient Greek I think. It looks ancient Greek. I don't know. I hope I'm right. <laughs> So the next book is um, One of Us is Lying by uh, Karen M. McManus. So I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this, like some people really enjoyed it while other people, like especially more people who are into mysteries and thrillers, were not huge fans of this book. Um, I know I like the spread edges, but um, yeah, I don't really know what to think. I'm not, as far as I'm aware, I'm not really into mystery thrillers because I haven't really enjoyed any thrillers that I've read, but I don't think I've picked good ones to read yet. Like, because I've only read Gone Girl and I DNF'd The Secret History, so... So maybe this might be something for me, seeing as a lot of people who don't really read it love it, and people who really who don't really read um, thriller, uh, who really, yeah, they don't really like it. So maybe it might be something for me. But even then, I'm intrigued by the concept and see how it goes. So um, I bought the next book to The Handmaid's Tale, which is The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. I haven't read the first one and I was like, oh, I might as well 
by the next book because I'll probably get to reading it at some point soon so and I really want to read The Handmaid's Tale so because I really actually love the TV show so I'm looking forward to that and I am excited honestly you know who knew I would be excited about a story like The Handmaid's Tale I don't know so the next book I bought is The Beautiful by Renee Audier I've heard good things about this book and I've also heard bad things so I don't know which one I'm fall into, but who knows? Um, I heard um, Liv um, reads a latte. She really raved on about the series as well as um, Books with Chloe. They both raved about the book, so I thought I might enjoy it. I'm not sure. We'll um, see about that one. It looks interesting at the very least and sounds interesting. Uh, I think it's about vampires in the 1980s in New Orleans, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, no. Seven, 19th century. Yeah. So, I don't really know much else about it though. So, yeah. We'll see how it goes. So, the next book I bought, I bought under weird, not weird circumstance. So, one of the bookstores that is near me, they, um, they do, they do a thing where they um, do like a book blind date so pretty much you look at the things and they give you a bunch of things that may be what the book is and or maybe is what the book is but without being alluding to the um, what the book is so I ended up picking I think it was like fantasy and it was about and I remember one thing it was like uh, it has carn carnivorous trees I think that's how you say it and I was like okay that sounds interesting you know bring me in and I ended up and I ended up with The Book of Coli by M.R. Carey I don't really know much about it and it sounds interesting uh, pretty much it's about um, a guy named Coli who lives in this um, like village that is closed off from the rest of the world and pretty much he ends up either getting like exiled or he ends up leaving to find a new life or something and he has to go through the forest and it's all got all these animals and stuff like that in it I think I don't know but sounds interesting and it's a trilogy and I don't know if the next two books are out because I because I know this is on the Goodreads 2020 list so I'm assuming it was published this year so there's two more books to come out with it and also something interesting about this cover too is that it is an interactive cover so you have just gotta go onto like Google Lens and put it through your phone and like they I'm pretty sure these come to life and like they grow and around the book and stuff so that's pretty cool you may be wondering are we there yet and no we're not there yet we are still like I think we're halfway through my books at the moment that I've bought in the last couple of months because I really went through a rough patch at one point in the last couple of months and I was like buy all the books buy all the books make me happy <laughs> so yeah so now here I am anyway um the next book I bought is Daisy, jo uh, Daisy Jones and the Six I mainly bought this one because Tyra and the books raves about it a lot as well as um Emma books I'm she loves it as well I'm pretty sure and also because it is by Taylor Jen Jenkins Reid who wrote seven husbands I'm like really interested in reading and seeing like if I you know enjoy um, Taylor Jenkins Reid's writing and maybe actually look forward to her next release who knows I'm not I'm hoping to like the book because I bought it but we'll see so I went to a um, secondhand bookstore again because um, like there's a couple around in my area so I ended up buying two of the books in the Throne of Glass series. I'm hoping to try and find the books cheap and these were about seven dollars which isn't too bad so hoping when we go to the Lifeline that I can get the rest of the books for cheap so it's cheaper than the box set and I save a bit of money. That's what I'm hoping and I don't know what Throne of Glass is about so <laughs> I can't really say much about what it is and also because these are the second and the fifth book I'm pretty sure. I can't exactly, I don't want to look at the backs and spoil what happens in the first book and what happens between this book and this book. So at the same bookstore I also found another middle grade um, which is Letters from the Inside and 
it's pretty much about two teenage girls who are writing to each other and the whole story is told by letters. I don't really know much else about it but it sounds really interesting. It's by John Marston. I'm really liking his writing so far so like I like I've been reading the Tomorrow series at the moment and I've been enjoying that so so yeah so I've been enjoying that as well as I've read the other book that I said I got is coming in the mail which is so much to tell you. Um, I enjoyed reading that when I was younger so I thought might as well get another one and it's short too it's only small so how many pages is it? like 146 it's not that long and it sounds interesting so so a book that I bought because the cover was really pretty was The Book of Hidden Wonders by Polly Crosby the letters are sparkly and that's all I can tell you about the book um, I think it's about a father who wrote a story and is that the story? Yeah, yeah, it is too. Oh. Yeah, it's about a father who wrote the story, wrote these stories and then he passes, I think, and then it turns out that the father had hidden the world in the books and they just have to discover, the kids have to discover it. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. And it looks interesting and I think it's interesting. Hopefully it's interesting. So I'm annoyed with this because I bought these books individually and because um, I bought I bought the first three of the Wizards of Once stories all together so they're obviously going to be in the same size and same, you know, yeah, same length and, you know, look nicely on the shelf. And then like about a month later after I bought them, the fourth book came out and I was like, yes, okay, I'll buy it and then I bought it. <laughs> so much larger than what I thought it was. But I was like, I'm also, uh, I also bought it because it's really sparkly. And I thought that if I got way to the smaller version came, it wouldn't be sparkly. And also the back is cool too. So, I don't know. I, I wanted to read this for believe a but I was like, I don't want to add too much to my list because I'm not the fastest reader so maybe next year or I'll get to it at some point before believe a fun next year so we'll see but um yeah I didn't realize that these were written by the author who did how to train your dragon and that's another series I want to get one day we'll see I'll hopefully want to get it in a box set because it'll be cheaper to do it that way and I don't think I'd be able to get them second hand so we'll see but I'm hoping that these will be good and I've heard a lot of good things about them so hopefully I like them too. So I bought a box set of Disney books because why not? Uh, these are the Disney Villains um, box set. It's got three of the books. I think there's seven. So this has like one, four and five I think. I don't know, but it's got the um, fairest of them all which is about Maleficent. And it's got um, Mother Knows Best, which is about um, Rapunzel, Mother Gothel. And then the next one is The Odd Sisters, which I'm assuming is about Snow White, because it's got the apple on it. And it comes with a journal, and I don't know if I'll ever use the journal, but even then when I bought it and I opened the books, they smell like paint, so I really need to air them out if I'm going to read them, because... They were giving me a headache when I was just wrapping them up because I wrap all my books up in uh, con contact to protect them over time. So that's what I just do. And um, also with these books, um, the uh, um, there's books about like Ursula, the Beast, and I can't remember. There's more. I'm pretty sure, but I can't remember them on the top of my head. But they've got um, yeah. They've they do the different um, stories, which is pretty um, interesting. I um, I think it will be interesting to read. Uh, hopefully, they're just as good as what the um, Twisted Tales were. I've only read one of the Twisted Tales so far, and I've enjoyed it. So hopefully, this will be the same. So when I first was starting to get into BookTube, I really wanted to get on the Sarah J. Mass um, train, and I, so I bought Crescent City. The House of Earth and Blood, and I want to read it, uh, but it's massive, and I will get to it at one point because I've heard a lot of good things about it, and also I'd love to read the book as it's coming out. But at the same time, 
do I want to wait for the whole books to come out but I don't really want to do that anyway, but it seems interesting it's um, her first adult novel I think or adult fantasy novel so I think that will be fun interesting to read well yeah we'll see but yeah it looks really cool I love the cover and I'm excited to read it one day. So in my last book haul, I said I'd wait to buy the um, the next two books in the Illuminae series until I'd read Illuminae. That was a lie. <laughs> I haven't read Illuminae, but I bought these two because they were $10 at Kmart and I thought that was really good, especially I think I spent at least $15 on the first book for some weird reason because I went to Dimmickson bought it expensive where I could have gone to Kmart and buy it, bought it for $10. I don't know. But anyway, so I bought these ones. I'm, I feel like I'll love it. I, I I'll actually like really enjoy it because if I really enjoy it, I might, when I finish these, I might get like Aurora Rising and Aurora, Aurora Burning by um, uh, Amy um, Kaufman and Jay Kristoff because they also wrote the Illuminae series. And, and yeah, they seem like really cool people. I follow Jay Kristoff on Insta and he is pretty funny at times. So I feel like that I will love these books as well. So that's all the books I have. So that, um, I counted it up. It's 27 books in total that I've pulled in less than three months. So I'm, if, I don't know if it's, if I'm proud of myself or I'm sad that I spent so much money in books and I have, I've only read two of them. But I'm hoping to read a couple of them this month because of Believe-a-Fond and also actually some of them like Illuminate I really want to get onto. Like I feel like there's a series I need to get on like as soon as possible tonight. So that might be a Christmas reading book. Who knows? I don't think it's Christmas but who cares? I, I don't really read according to season. I don't know. But anyway, that's me for today. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a bit speechless for some weird reason. Uh, just a lot of books. And I don't know what to do with them. Like, obviously put them away, but I don't know what to do with them in terms of read them. <laughs> like, when am I going to read them? Like, I've got so many other books I want to read first. Like, when am I ever going to get to these ones? Who knows? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that's it for me today. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like, um, comment, like, I don't know, comment what's your favourite book out of the books I mentioned, or if you haven't mentioned, like, what's a book that you love and why, because I want all the books apparently now. <laughs> anyway, and I will talk to you next week. Bye!